Here we have the MA5C in this case, but obviously you, know, you all know what it, what that actually means. So in this one here you can see that we have, again, the gel pellets, nice orange ones this time for a, for a change. You have some extra, a lot of extra gel pellets here, and these are packets of 300 rounds. So that's quite amazing. And again, they, if you, when you run out in that container there, you pour these and pour one of these into the container, add some water, and after about four hours you will have 300 more gel pellets. And yet again, safety glasses, very important part of all of this. Ah. Now this gun's a bit different, this gun actually runs on a battery. And this here is that battery. I'll show you how to put it into the gun in a few moments. But they're, they're really awesome little batteries. The best part is they come with a USB charger. And I think you'll find there's a little red light on, the, on here that will light up and tell you when it's, while it's charging and go out when it is finished charging. So really easy and convenient. There is also, amazingly, a screwdriver to undo the compartment to put the battery in. And here we have the rifle. You can see we even have a rail mount on the side. The gel pellets actually go inside this hatch here and sit inside a compartment and the battery gets put inside this compartment here once we unscrew it and put the battery in. But another note to add is there is actually a torch in the front of this gun as well and all you have to do is screw and rotate it inwards and the torch will come on. There is actually a spare pellet container in the back end of the gun. We'll point out sometimes the batteries may need charging when they first come out of the box and other times they're perfectly fine. Just really depends on their on their charge since factory. Now as you can see in here there is a cord which is where this piece plugs into. Pulls out just a little bit. So we'll get this plugged in. There it is. Move this way up so the little clip locks in. And you'll be able to fit the entire battery back into there. Close the hatch. And then flick the on off switch, which is located on the right hand side of the gun. In this case, that was off, back to on and we should have it firing. I will point out this one sounds like it needs to be charged after coming out of box. But I do know for a fact that when it is fully charged, it is a rather impressive rate of fire and accurate. 